Debbie Wasserman Schultz, disgraced in information technology aid, is now set to strike a plea deal, apparently, with federal prosecutors. That's right, a plea deal. A hearing has been set for July 3rd, following seven delays in that case over the past six months alone. A one and his wife face conspiracy and bank fraud charges, transferring money from the Congressional Federal Credit Union to Pakistan before trying to flee the country. And joining me now is one of the reporters who has been at the forefront of this story, uh, reporting from the outset. Daily Caller investigative report, Luke Rosiak joins us here tonight. Luke, great to see you. And uh, uh, again, terrific reporting. This case is one of the most frustrating things uh, to, to witness because it's inexplicable. The delays, the, the peculiar posture that's been assumed by the prosecutors uh, and the defendants in this case and the role of the former DNC head, Congresswoman uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Well, here's how you explain it, Lou. This is about rigging the 2016 election. Um, there was a second hack right. uh, that occurred the same week that the DNC was breached, uh, same week that WikiLeaks started put, putting up those DNC emails. The House of Representatives Inspector General uh, briefed authorities that there was this ongoing hack by Pakistanis who the Democrats has hired as IT guys. Uh, and ordinarily, they would have been arrested on the bat, obviously. But think about it, the, that, that Russian narrative that they just decided to start pitching that very week, you know how tenuous it is, how, how backed by nothing it is. You throw into the mix arrests of Pakistanis hired by Democrats and unvetted at a, at, for a sim similar hack at, a, at the identical time. The narrative about Russia would have been impossible to secure. And, and as you know, that's all they care about it, is the narrative. Yeah. And, so not, then, and what's interesting to, in this amongst the many uh, things that are interesting, fascinating, intriguing, uh, and frustrating, uh, is where is the Justice Department now? Why in the world are we hearing about this from Jeff Sessions? Why aren't we hearing about it from a Republican uh, of the Justice Department? Uh, and where in the world is Debbie Wasserman Schultz and how has she been, has she been given immunity? Uh, is uh, Awan somehow, uh, uh, has he been in some way co-opted uh, by forces that are uh, dark and sinister in the deep state? What is going on? What it is is that the handling of this case disproves the entire Russian narrative. Democrats don't care about hacking. They don't care about foreign meddling. Uh, what they did in this case is decide to knowingly allow the United States government to be hacked by Pakistanis for six months until right after the election so that they could peddle a phony Russian narrative. That we know that they would go to any lengths to smear Donald Trump with this Russian narrative, but this is worse than we ever could have imagined. What the Democrats did here is treason. They allowed the United States to continuously be hacked by these bad guys so that they could spin this Russian narrative. Because you couldn't have it both ways. If they arrested these guys, it's all over the media, and say bye-bye to any Russian narrative. At that point, it just becomes ridiculous for the Democrats. It fool me once, shame on you. Fool me 10 times. Shame on the Democrats for being completely negligent with their IT getting hacked again and again yes. due to their extreme negligence. This is by unvetted Muslims who came over through chain migration. Really? This would have been the October surprise that would have ensured a, a victory by Donald Trump. And the House of Representatives withheld that knowledge from voters yeah. and, and Debbie put, Wasserman uh, Schultz at risk in, in the process. And Debbie Wasserman Schultz uh, in, 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 at the forefront of it all. Uh, as you know, the person who also made it possible because she was in charge uh, for the Russians, quote unquote, to hack the DNC servers and somehow convince the FBI that they should not bother the DNC uh, with a little matter of national security like having their, their servers hacked. Uh, everyone, by the way, when you heard Luke say that they were embedded, not a single one of the 44 House Democrats uh, who hired these Pakistani IT aides, not a one of them conducted background checks uh, on the folks who were basically running a, a ghost employee scheme. Uh, and we're going to be following it, and, uh, and I would like, Luke, very much if you would join us here uh, to, uh, to tell us what's going on with this case. Uh, a plea deal. Are they trying, once again, they, being this government and this administration uh, now, in charge of the Justice Department, surely they would not be a party to concealing and putting this thing so deep uh, that uh, it wouldn't see the light of day. 
No, they are. The, the DOJ under Jeff Sessions is covering up uh, a scandal that exposes the entire Russian narrative as a hoax. It is within Jeff Sessions' power to demolish this Russian narrative once and for all, charge the Pakistanis with hacking Congress, uh, and exposing Democrats' hypocrisy and negligence. He has a list of witnesses, and his FBI is refusing to interview them. Uh, you know, we've got the FBI refusing to accept evidence from witnesses. The evidence in this, they, they talk about is it bank so this to, or that. They, yeah. it's all, they have all the goods. It's in the server logs. This case is open and shut and Jeff Sessions is refusing uh, to, to bring the charges.